there uh yesterday's vlog i've better than 40 minutes which was really nice compared to like 12 hours so <laughs> the wi-fi here is really good probably the best wi-fi i had so far in australia actually anyway yeah yesterday was uh wine glass bay i spent 10 minutes of that vlog talking at the end <laughs> apologies for that I didn't realize it was 10 minutes but you know I, I had stories to tell today is cradle mountain which is a lot tougher um there's multiple walks cradle mountain there's, there's a lot of walks um we're not doing all of them today <laughs> there's not enough time but we're doing at least like three or four walks, I think. Uh, most of them are fine. There's one really tough one if you want to challenge yourself, apparently. Whether I'll actually do that, I don't know. It's, it's going to depend, like, is the view good enough from the walks that we do? And it depends on who else does it. Like, if everyone else does does the hard one, I'm going to do it as well. <laughs> it's, I'm, it's going to depend. I'm not going to do it on my own, so <laughs> it really depends. But, you know, after doing Kings Canyon last year and other things like, you know, uh, scuba diving, thousand steps in Danong and stuff like that I thought hey maybe I could jam myself again but again we'll see we'll see what's up first um and I definitely need some food before that as well but uh yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to the views I've seen the pictures of Cradle Mountain it is pretty cool even not from the top not from the summit so uh, I'm very excited about uh today's hike uh yesterday was a warm-up I guess today is the thing um, I assume that younger people will be on this tour as well, uh, just assuming that what it is uh, and what we're doing. But we shall see. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it's a good tour. And uh, to the person who recommended this to me two years ago, I appreciate you. Because um, I would not have known this existed otherwise. So, uh, probably wouldn't anyway. So, uh, yeah. I've also discovered there's plenty of other things in Tasmania to see, even though it's such a small place compared to the mainland. But, yeah, uh, in terms of, you know lawn system and the surrounding areas i feel like i've explored a decent amount <laughs> so uh when i do come back to tassie which i will one day um i can you know explore hobart or georgetown or queenstown and you know there's plenty of things to uh experience here too but I, i'm satisfied with what i'm experiencing here especially after today i'm i'm very confident cradle mountain no matter how many walks i do i'm very confident that uh it will be a good tour today so uh yeah and tomorrow i'm heading back to melbourne uh I'm gonna get a, a a flight. Uh, it's not too late because I want to get in time to the G for Saint Kilda v Collingwood, but it's not too early either. So uh, it should be fine. It's pretty tight, but it should be fine. And I might meet someone beforehand as well. So yeah, let's get on to <laughs> the meetup point, Grand Chancellor Hotel. Here we are. No, I just gotta wait twenty two minutes. All right, yeah. Because yesterday the guy was here at like seven, and he saw me straight away. I'm just like, oh. I don't have to wait that long then, and the other stars are here as well. Um, I assume it's a different tour guide today though, I assume so. It might be the same, but I, I, I don't think it is. See, we got someone on board for the AFL train, for the Tassie team. I'm sticking with the Hawks, but you know, that's fair enough. I can assume a lot of Tasmania Devils new fans are going to be, you know, switching from Hawks or Kangaroos. Which is, yeah, that's understandable, you know, a lot of uh, fans of both of those teams will be in Tasmania. Um, so it kind of makes sense. So it's, it's, it's going to be pretty cool that Tasmania has, has its own team. Um, I still don't like the 19 teams, so <laughs> hopefully they get 20 applies. I don't know. How, I don't know where they'd get it from though. Like, uh, who would be the 20th team? But hopefully uh, they find the right solution for that because a 19 team team and sorry, a 19 team league sounds a bit dodgy. I'm just I'm just saying. Again, that went off at 7.02. I think it's on purpose. Uh, I think uh, they do it two minutes late on purpose. That's what I'm assuming. Because it's not a coincidence that's two days in a row they're two minutes late. So uh, I've, I've caught on to the church bells of non-system. <laughs> Slates and ribbons. We are in Sheffield, the closest town to the mountain. Um, quite cold up here. It's predicted to be six degrees. At least it's not raining. They said they're going to provide um, jackets, gloves, and hats. So that's pretty cool, free of charge. So that's great. Um, don't need it yet, but it does feel pretty cold. 
I'm used to cold in London, but yeah, I shouldn't be cold in the mountains. Another mural there. The best murals I can't show you because, well, there's a good one here actually. Too far away and we got like a limited time. A lot of people today, there's a full van. Like I think there's one seat empty. It's like, yeah, there's at least 12 people in there. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty big tour. Mix of old and young, you know? So we'll see who does what. Um, I might go into IGA or the bakery, which is the bakehouse down there. Because I want to get food for now, but this is the last stop for food. So we had to get lunch now as well. So I'm curious what's the most convenient place to go to. Maybe the supermarket. What's happened to the camera? It's a nice view. Bloom and egg, mate. There was like no food in there. <laughs> there was, but no sandwiches or anything that I wanted. Oh, for flip's sake. I'm, I'm going to try the service station before I try the uh, bakehouse. Less time now than I did said 10 minutes ago. Flipping hell, mate. How, how does it define bloody sandwiches? Let me go to the cafe now. Yeah, I'll just get hot food and then, yeah, it'll get cold later. Plan was to get cold sandwiches from somewhere and then go to the bakery and buy hot food for now. <laughs> I guess I'm buying hot food for the whole day. Okay, fine. The original artwork is there. Should have come here first. Spent like 14 pounds, like 27 dollars or something. Sausage rolls look so small. Not hit by a car. Sausage rolls look, look so small. I got two of them. I got a beef pie. I got two cakes. One was a wagon wheel. One's called a kiss biscuit. I thought they looked nice. And then a uh, couple sandwiches and a couple wraps. So yeah, I want to try and eat the whole food right now. I got 15 minutes, which is good. I was rushing, panicking, thinking, oh, we only got half an hour. Ah, the food is all good. It should just gone straight to the bakery. I got 10 minutes. Better be fast. There's a pie and the sausage rolls. You can see the cakes later. Van just around the corner. Next the information center and the toilets here, which is great. Mm. Save the cakes for later. I think I've had enough with the uh, pies on the roll. Got five minutes. I've eaten a, a little too fast. <laughs> I'm just like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> That's a nice piece of artwork there. I was gonna say was the woman of a uh, golden retriever. There's another dog down there as well, German Shepherd. That golden retriever looked majestic, my friend. They wanted my food as well. I'm just like, well, let, let's just let's calm down here, but. I want it. I've always wanted a golden retriever. I know it's expensive to have a dog anyway, especially in England. But if I ever get a dog, golden retriever, man, that that dog is bloody beautiful. What what a breed! It's a lot of nice artwork in this town. So what for later? Ham and cheese sandwich, ham salad, wraps. That's called the wagon wheel. That's called the kiss biscuit. Toilet. Two minutes left. Let's go on our adventure. Steal your food. Oh. <laughs> All right, so it's um, this bird here. You've got a worse, much worse than seagulls. Mm. Will actually yeah. take food out of your hand. Wow. We have another bird that's uh, rather unique on the island. That's flightless bird, mm. um, pure or native hen. One two that are found up in the mountains. They're still uh, active this time of the year. So the tiger snake is the second most venomous snake in the world. Sorry, the fourth most venomous oh, snake of the world. The se second most venomous is the King Brown on um, mainland Australia. Do you see them often when yeah. you walk there? Yeah. yeah. About the 90th highest mountain on the island.
10 minute stop just before the mountain. Apparently it's called Cradle Mountain because it looks like a baby in a cradle at the top of it, <laughs> which is interesting. That's, that's how the British named it. It has an Aboriginal name, but I've got it. My apologies. I've got a 10 minute stop. I'm gonna stop at a visitor centre, see if I can get a souvenir. Hopefully they have some good keyrings in there. That'd be great. Maybe a 30% flow. In the middle of summer, middle of January, this was a mass of white flowers. So, so some people catch the bus in. Baby's almost clear. Can't quite <laughs> see the baby's head. But the big flat mountain is Mount Marion with a bit of snow. To us, Tasmania in 48, holding 49. Park, rough gravel road, poor telecommunications. <laughs> Great. Talk about Marion's Lookout, but you're actually climbing the 95th highest mountain if you choose walk number 9. Time of fake news. 41. So a lot of people put up on social media that they're going to see wombats or they've seen wombats at Wombat Pool. It's fake news. going to see the wombats here, not at Wombat Pool. I had someone a couple of weeks ago. All they were interested in doing was seeing wombats. Be back, ready to leave 2pm, which means if you're going on the hard walk, must be leaving up there 1pm to get back by 2pm. Viewing centre on the right hand side, there will be toilets. There's also a tap on the wall. You can refill your water bottle. us with this stuff. I sent an email, I don't know if it's because of the email, but they sent an email that provides some jackets. Um, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's nice. Um, there's four routes, one, two, six and nine. Nine apparently is very difficult because it's snowing. It does snow up there today and there was a bit of rain. It's very slippery. So because of that, I might not do it. Um, but there are one, two and six, which are doable apparently. So there's the ones I aim to do. I guess not nine. It is what it is. Probably very hard anyway. So tours Tasmania people, if you're doing number six in a clockwise direction around, you do one and two as part of that. And if you're choosing the number nine, you will end up doing number one as the end of that. The first bit down, you're actually using chain. So there's a big difference between a 7.5 out of 10 rating and a 5 out of 10 rating. There's someone up there, this one person, it's four kilometres up, you backtrack and down one kilometre. You must do that, you don't go up and back the same way, you're doing an edge clockwise circuit, if you're going around the lake you're doing a clockwise circuit. So for uh, number six we go clockwise? We go clockwise. Okay. So you're looking at the baby in the cradle when you can see it. All oh, good. So when you get back, you've got a spot here, the other side of the wall. Is it a piss? <laughs>
three hours and a bit to uh, complete this course. They had to give me double to do nine, to be honest. But even then, like I've got good shoes, but I don't know if they're good enough for snowy, slippery rain surfaces. So, but yeah, Cradle Mountain. I think that works as the thumbnail, <laughs> unless I get like this incredible view. <laughs> I've already seen the mountain now, so it's just like the walks to Venice and uh, there's a possibility, possible chance of seeing one bet. Depends how early we get back. Get back at 1 o'clock or 1.30, he'll show us. If we get back at 2, which is the latest time we can get back, it's like 10.45 now, then we might get a picture of one bet, that's it, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, possible birds, possible snakes, uh, possible wallabies, wombats, um, and echnidas, I can't pronounce them, but the anteater things in Australia. Um, they said stay on the tracks, avoid all animals. The snakes avoid you normally. Just don't go into where they are. <laughs> um, I haven't seen these snakes yet, so yeah. Happy to stay on the track. And for number six, I got to stay by the lane. So there's going to be different routes. I have to stay, uh, stay on the ones that are going towards the lane. So I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. The water looks nice here. Windy, but beautiful. This is why I explore. This is why I go on holiday. I like adventure. I like seeing things, natural beauty, man-made beauty, and all different kinds of beauty. And you want to go around to see it. When you go in Australia, you can just so much. <laughs> uh, you have a beautiful country. Even off coast in Tasmania, you have a bloody bit. Even when it's cold, it's cold over here. There's Antarctic winds over here. <laughs> Your country's beautiful all over. Territory. And there's still so much I haven't seen, which is, it just shows how big your country is and how many great things are in it. <laughs> Can you even really talk? I don't even know. Wind normally takes over my voice. Okay, okay. Beautiful place, beautiful, beautiful place. In the cold of Tasmania, there is a crown jewel. The right term? I should have said like gem. I don't want to say hidden gem. I don't know. You, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. As the tour guide said, avoid the stair, avoid the areas going towards away from the lake. Stick to the lake. Curious though, how far does number nine go? Because I assume it goes like really high up. <laughs> I don't want to know. I wouldn't do it in three hours, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> It'd give me like three days maybe. It's self-guided by the way, like he tells you like where to go and everything and then he leaves you to do to your own devices. So everyone in there, everyone's gone on their own routes. Someone, someone on my route just opened the bush because he saw something. I'm just like, I ain't looking in there. I don't know what's in, what you're seeing in there, mate. But I'm, I'm gonna keep walking. <laughs> yeah, there's about seven people on the route I'm on, and everyone else has gone like other routes, maybe one and two. I don't know if anyone's done nine. I'd be surprised, to be honest. But uh, maybe, maybe. Good job, there's no crocodiles in here. <laughs> Going all around the rake, rake, <laughs> all around the lake clockwise, as far as I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, because this isn't scary. <laughs> yep, I'm just a little bit terrified. I'm just grateful it's not night time. <laughs> it's out the wind at least. <laughs> Can I bring it over? 
to escape the wind and you bloody catch the rain. It's just, you know, typical, typical Tasmanian weather. Yesterday I felt heat, cold, wind, sun and rain all in within half a day. <laughs> now I'm feeling it within like half an hour. Apart from me, I haven't felt heat yet. And the tour guide last week it came up here, it was 19 degrees, which is pretty good. A couple days later, 6 degrees. Tasmania. Seems like London, but a little bit more extreme apparently. I should say the UK in general, because it's much worse up north in England in the UK in general as well than it is in London. But yeah, the point is we have it pretty bad as well. <laughs> but Tasmania just seems like even worse than the UK in terms of like how unpredictable the weather is. <laughs> and it is cold most of the year here, just like in the UK. That's a spectacular sight. I'm so glad I'm choosing not to do night. <laughs> like the main reason is I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't have done it that fast anyway. And I heard snow up there. Now you've got this rain on top. <laughs> Anyone who chose that, have fun. I hope you survive, but have fun. <laughs> Towards the lake, I stick to the lake. What's the word? Tranquil? <laughs> Tranquility? Was this track you just go down there to go to the beach but still <laughs> we're next to the lake <laughs> making good time i think <laughs> i'm enjoying this walk though you what mate i've been taking selfies along the way i look ridiculous in the suit <laughs> i think this hood doesn't help either i should have put it up as well better <laughs> better this hat is too loose man but it's nice and warm at least so i didn't know they make a lot of marina wall in australia i remember looking for marina wall all, all over the place to go to norway they make a lot of it here in Tasmania, that's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> I noticed some Hawks Guernseys are sort of marina wall as well, which is cool. Thank the Lord, the rain has stopped. Not as tight as I thought I'd be. Then again, there's not, not as many upstairs steps anyway. That's the main tiring bit. I can walk fast on a flat surface and down I just gotta watch my feet. <laughs> So yeah, not as much up, but we're not even halfway through, so there might be a bit more up. <laughs> it did say medium walk, <laughs> and yesterday's was classified as easy, <laughs> so uh, we'll see. I can zoom with one glove on, yes, <laughs> a little bit tight. Don't worry, I'm, I'm very skinny. Very, very, very skinny. Jeez, one of my lenses is screwed, bro. There we go, that's better. Camera lenses, as you can see there, I'm, I'm very skinny. Bloody hell, mate, they just could not, I mean, probably the reason probably the tree. <laughs> but still, this is a nice walk, you know. If there weren't snakes around, I'd be a bit more comfortable. <laughs> but there are snakes around, so I've got to be aware. Even though I haven't seen any wild ones yet. <laughs> I've only seen ones at zoos and sanctuaries, which I'm not complaining about. But as I've said before, I'm very surprised I've not seen a single one in a wild. <laughs> Again, I'm happy for that to be the case. <laughs> I'm just surprised I haven't seen one. Especially considering the guy said he's seen them around here and it's still active this time of year. I'm like, great news, mate. Including the fourth most venomous snake in Australia. Or in the world, actually, in the world. <laughs> uh, as long as I don't hear a hiss, I'll be fine, right? <laughs> Even though some can like, you know, camouflage and hide really well and stay still for a long time. The bird you got to worry about when you're eating food, especially that one bird he was talking about, I can't remember what it's called, but <laughs> I'll eat very discreetly just in case. Just realized it would have been nice for my GoPro to be with me right now. I brought that here for no reason. I got two cameras I'm not even using, got the GoPro and the Canon. Can is in my bag. I've not used either one. <laughs> I bought the GoPro for what I bring it for. What did I bring the GoPro for? I brought it for one of the WA tours. Oh, for the sandboarding. Yeah, for the sandboarding. I brought it for sandboarding. I forgot it. I bought it just for that, and I forgot it. But I realised I had more chances to use them 
use the GoPro in so many vlogs and I've just not done it. <laughs> just unnecessary luggage weight on the way home. And the cannon on top, which I've not used, but that's a backup because this phone is not far from storage limit. <laughs> You're already seeing some clips and this way through the tree is actually really long <laughs> i was just like this is still going <laughs> so calm it's nice when it's not windy <laughs> I feel like we're finally heading out of this woodland area <laughs> beautiful isn't it I'm seeing more and more the baby in the cradle. <laughs> Fantastic, is that? That's what we're here for, that's the main attraction. I don't know which focus is better, but yeah. That's right there. I'm not going up there though. Not today, unfortunately. Ah, it's starting to rain again. Of course it is. I found a pocket for this one. <laughs> nice place for a picnic on a better day. Oh boy, more of this. <laughs> I don't mind it, it's just that, you know, because it's so tight and you're surrounded by trees, you never know what animal could be <laughs> in the bushes. That's what's scaring me, really. <laughs> walk itself isn't that hard. Waterfall up there. Nice. Finally, a challenge. Alarm bells. <laughs> there is nothing that drains this phone more than the camera. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Video, battery's going down, mate. There we go. Stop recording. I tripped over that as I stopped recording. I didn't fall over that. <laughs> I said, here we go, and I tripped over that. <laughs> Big ass tree. Just heard some noises. One's a bird, the other one's just something in the bushes. Didn't sound like a snake, sounded like someone, sounded like a human actually. <laughs> um, probably someone with legs then. There's no dingoes here, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my, what are you? It's, it lasted like two seconds, but the wind was ferocious through here, bro. I'm glad I didn't go up there <laughs> to number nine. What is in that water? No crocs, at least. <laughs> We're not in the right states for that. There might be crocs in Tasmania, I don't know, but not in this part. I'm just to get my power bank in my trouser pocket, my USB-C wire. 
coming up from 28 to 35 in like two minutes. That's what I call efficiency. It's faster than it gets to 80 and it's so slow to charge. <laughs> but I think it's just an iPhone thing. Looks the red riding hood, the big bad wolf to feed in pigs. <laughs> this is snow, by the way. <laughs> Not even joking, this is snow. Snow in Australia. Merry Christmas, people! Aha. We don't get snow in London nowadays. We've got to make once and lost seven years or something ridiculous like that. <laughs> this is amazing, bro. You won't settle, but that's really cool. <laughs> probably blowing on top of the mountain, to be fair. You should probably get out of here. Oh, I love snow. <laughs> this feels like home. <laughs> Tasmania feels like home. Tasmania feels like England. There's a waterfall you're looking at. Pedal's up there. Pedal's over there. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Keeps going and going up. Just did so many steps in one go. I just saved my phone for a start and there's more stuff. Finally, I didn't count the stress steps, but it was quite a few. <laughs> it was more than yesterday, but not anywhere near as bad as the Italian. But it doesn't make any sense because that's like a hundred difference. <laughs> but I don't know, it was a lot. Oh no, oh no, but those are, those are less, those, those are less tough. We'll be alright. I knew it, I knew it, down again, I knew it. And it was a lot easier just to watch my steps. Put my phone away whenever when it's sensible to do so. So a bit less filming downhill. Literally two seconds later. <laughs> the view is too nice, bro. I still got time, I still got time. Hey, to be fair, there's still a fair bit left. That's the end point, that building there. That's the start point. So we've gone a long way around. There's still a bit to go. 
that's interesting but we're going down here i assume it's going to be mainly flat towards the end but what a route this might surprise you but this might be my favorite tour so far <laughs> it might be i really enjoyed this walk apart from this bit of stairs just there a few hundred steps apart from that you know uh, i feel like i've really enjoyed today <laughs> but everything i've enjoyed though every tour i've done i've enjoyed so like there's so many great things i've done the two big new south wales tours the two the three big wa tours now you've got yesterday and today there's one in victoria coming up very soon but this might be my favorite <laughs> there's still one more left but this one might be my favorite because i know just the scenery is amazing i mean just look at it this is not even the cradle mountain cradle mountain's like it's behind the trees you can't see it from here it's just magnificent and it's like the walk isn't even that hard either so like even someone unhealthy like me can do it an old person can do it if they're careful enough this is just bloody beautiful bloody beautiful my friends this is why i want to tour asia because there's only places like this or even better than this like in um in thailand in vietnam malaysia singapore just countries like that there's some beautiful scenery there also some great things in like countries like china and pakistan but i don't know if it's i don't, I don't think it's safe for me to go to those countries anyway so it's like there's still like vietnam thailand cambodia singapore malaysia japan there's some great places in south korea as well there's so much of asia to explore so uh <laughs> one day i gotta go around different uh, philippines indonesia bali specifically there's so many places bro <laughs> down there it's like it's the one continent that I want, really want to explore quite a lot aside from the continent I'm on right now and uh, I want to do that at some point I also want to visit a very cold continent which you might have heard of <laughs> there's no countries in it big clue, big clue it's not far from here apparently the best way to go there is through Argentina though but you can go there from Australia too apparently um, and there's also South America which I've never been but I don't plan to explore South America that much I know there's a lot of beautiful places there but I'm planning on a possible week tour of south america just like two countries but no promises <laughs> and a bit of africa as well i've been to egypt and that's it like i want to go somewhere in southern africa but not south africa and west africa as well maybe like ghana or something but yeah i'm trying to visit so many places within the next <laughs> couple years or so hopefully i can do it all depends on money but you know i believe I can well apart from apart from the uh, one I haven't, I haven't named that, that cold continent South America and Africa we can at least sort it out for now we can save Asia for later and once I'm done once I'm done the next couple of years with Australia and the US um, I can start thinking about that cold place because uh, <laughs> it's better to visit that place sooner rather than later before I tour Asia so yeah <laughs> just thought I'd show you my holiday plans while I walk down these very dangerous steps oh, I am watching my steps though okay so <laughs> would be great content if I tripped wouldn't it and a snake came up oh wow that would get a lot of views wouldn't it yeah not on my watch mate <laughs> I mean I, I like the views I mean I don't, I don't want to fall over and be, get attacked by a snake okay we're not have we're <laughs> there's a line and that's way beyond the line I shouldn't joke about that because actually might happen so I should be careful until I'm out of here <laughs> even with my mouth <laughs> it's not like snakes understand English anyway but you never know don't tempt fate is the right term oh, I love nature and animals just from a distance of their predators and of course in Australia I get a bit of you know a lot of different things you know uh, not just nature and all these different tours and seas to explore and towns and countryside and deserts and stuff like this but also afl <laughs> sports events i got so much incentive to keep coming here even got relatives around who i couldn't meet unfortunately i was meant to meet so many relatives on this holiday and none of it's happened because they were working <laughs> it is what it is the point is right i said in a previous vlog i'd you know i'd stop coming here every year after like a year or so just to like save up other holidays and stuff but best believe <laughs> I will come back here eventually, <laughs> especially when the Tasmanian team starts up. So, you know, I won't be gone long. I'll tell you that much. Uh, this is a place I'll come back to, <laughs> but it won't be every year like it has been the last few years. But I want to come back next year at least. OK, so that that would make it what, <laughs> five, four years in a row. Oh, my days. <laughs> Never even been here once before 2022. 
<laughs> this is what the lockdown stuff did to me, bro. <laughs> COVID was a turning point. That's when I started traveling. Started across Europe and then I thought, yeah, let's go Australia. Cradle Mountain's not even in sight. <laughs> Distinctive lack of steps <laughs> on this part. <sighs> the sea's calmer than the air. <laughs> I say sea, it's a, it's a lake. My bad, guys. <laughs> This is more slippery than it looks. <laughs> more slippery than it looks. Especially when it gets more Dwayne Johnson -er, <laughs> rockier. That Marion one is number nine. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. Maybe in the cradle. Where does Marion's Lookout go if it's that way? Like, it goes up there, I guess, right to the top. That's insane. We're not far from the end, so let's do one last panoramic. Could get a thumbnail out of this, or I could just use the early one. Did that work? I don't even know, I can't even see. Really is beautiful. I can't even do it right with, uh, yeah, there you go. That doesn't work, <laughs> that doesn't work. Let me get my charger off. <laughs> I know the mountain's not that clear, but I'll see what I can do <laughs> when I video the, when I screenshot the video. On my laptop. Oh, what a beautiful sight. There you go. Cradle Mountain. Been there. Done that. The walk down is rather nice. Very nice indeed. Well, seems like a good spot. But what is this? Feels very weird to stand on. <laughs> Don't 
don't know why I didn't go this way. I came around this way and I thought, oh, I'm going to slip. Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> going away from Cradle and everything else. This is that first viewpoint we're on, which is only like five minutes into the trip. On top of that rock, went all the way around, all the way down here. It's been about two hours. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> There's a hidden lake here. <laughs> oh, this is the same lake, somehow. Marion's. <laughs> Dove Lake, 10 minutes. That's the way, that's where we are meant to meet back. It's eight minutes to one. He said he would uh, take some of us up to see some wombats if we got back at one. Otherwise, 1.30. I might miss the one o'clock, <laughs> but it's fine. I've had a good day. And I'm not late, because obviously you've got to be there by two, so. I'm not late, that's the main thing. If I did the Marion one, I would have been lost here. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and I'm making it back to Melbourne. <laughs> so I'm stuck in Tasmania, I've got to find my own way back. Oi! I see land. A horror matey. Captain Jack Sparrow. I don't know what accent this is, to be honest. <laughs> hey, hey, crickets. Almost there. Well, there's a little shed in there. Some sort of generator. Could be water. I would not have done a three hour one, no way. <laughs> I had three hours to do it. I assume all that's left to do is eat, unless there's something else to see. Unless you even have food there, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> There's said no waste up here because no one cleans up after you. So it's very important to take your waste with you. You can eat, you can do stuff, just take your waste away. <laughs> the park rangers have more important matters to attend to. What a view though, beautiful. It'll be nice on a hot day, but still, at least it didn't rain the whole time. <laughs> As you can see, it's not sunny now. It's probably a bit more rainy down there, in fairness. Clouds, snow as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> Any mountains in Hobart to explore? <laughs> I might be back in a few years. Uh, this, is, uh, this is amazing. I've already said uh, my thoughts on this place, but again, you know, I can't say it enough. It's amazing. You know what's funny? I brought 1.2 litres of water. I've not drunk a single drop of it. <laughs> I think I'm a madman. Way back. I 
I literally saw all of that in one hour, in two hours. It wasn't wrong. My water stayed cold. Perfect. Oh, I was never told about this. I did. I did wash them in Sydney. If that counts. <laughs> Water refill, perfect. And now to wait for the tour bus to get here. Not the worst place to be waiting for something. Even the roundabout looks beautiful. Here. He's back there actually, he's in the orange shirt. We've got two people apparently. Apparently everyone's back apart from me and two people, so that's interesting. We're gonna go and try and spot some wombats. We've got about half an hour to do it, so that's fun. No wallabies, um, no birds, I might see something that we can eat and get our food out. No snakes, uh, no etch, etch needles, whatever they power they pronounce, but we might see wombats at least, we might see wombats. Let me be careful here because there is a giant bus coming. They've got a shuttle bus service here. The only ones allowed in this particular area are tour buses and shuttle buses. No cars, private cars, anything. There's a car park like way down. Then you've got to get a shuttle here. Luckily, they have a tour guide. Tours Tasmania. They're a great uh, company. Thank you, Tours Tasmania. You've done a great job. And Graham is uh, helpful at telling us how to do it, where to go, direction wise. So, yeah, it's been a good tour. So, no one did nine, unless the two are waiting for did nine. Maybe potentially. I did six because he said it included one and two, and it's not as hard as nine. It's moderate, which can be a bit misleading. Normally it's harder than what it says it is. It could say easy to be really hard, but I, I thought I'd do six. It was well worth it. <laughs> uh, nine, I just like, if I had a longer time limit, I might have attempted it. For me. If I had a longer time limit and everyone else did it, then I might have followed them, followed them up, but. <laughs> the time limit was there, no one else did it, so I'm just like, yeah, let me do six like everyone else. <laughs> Tours Tasmania, great company. If you want to come to Tasmania and tour around the country, they have services all over the country, so uh, yeah, they're a good option. And they provided jackets, they provided jackets, gloves, hats, brilliant. Oh, they're back, so everyone's back, no one did nine then. Cooler, I guess, than here. In the summer 23, winter 13, the capital city, Hipluna, Hobart, in the summer average is 21, winter average is 11, and here it's 6 degrees in the winter average, 16 in the summer average. Two is Tasmania out Runny Creek, heading up Connells. So this is the original type of forest cover. The old ancient Gondwanan style forest called temperate rainforest on the right. And this is the bank where the wombats are able to dig their burrows or their holes in the ground where they sleep. Actually there's a wombat ground just back here. So just hard right of us. Its head's up against the stump there, still having a bit of a snooze. That's it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Just lift it to it. Where is it? Somewhere, sir. Ah.
Apparently in winter there's all snow. It looks great at Christmas Eve. Apparently it looks like Northern Hemisphere when it's in winter here. Well, we've got half an hour here. It's just a bit like... <laughs> a bit longer please. It's a 15 minute walk. There's a place to see even there. We have seen a one bit already to be fair from the vehicle. And there's also time to eat all in half an hour, yeah? Okay mate. That's not me complaining by the way, just so you know. <laughs> I'm happy with today with today. I'll give him a good review, that's for sure. <laughs> We don't need the tour bus in the, in the video because that's a different tour bus, well, not the one we came from. We can't give attention to the competition, it's all about tours as many, mate. That's not even my tour group. Still going this way. Yeah, and I'll talk more about the very primitive plant community. Uh, Finally got past that tour group, my word. I felt like an F1 driver. I thought I might come back to stop and trying to get through the grid from last to first. Except he can do it better than me. <laughs> it's just like, I'll get past a few people here. Oh, there's more space in him. Just slide past three of them. Then there's one lady that's just like in the middle keep swaying left and right i'm just like is this on purpose <laughs> i can't bloody overtake you then i wait for the tour guide to stop them to talk about something and i'm just like yep excuse me <laughs> here i am through all of you <laughs> safety car safety car red flag <laughs> this is quite possibly my it's in the top three of my best holidays ever the only ones that can compete are australia last year and california last year California's number one, Australia last year's number two. This is number three for now, but it could be number two <laughs> it, already, actually. I've been here, what, two weeks and four days? So almost three weeks. I've only lost one day, and that was from, uh, that was from Brisbane to Tasmania, that, that flight, like that day I didn't do anything. Apart from that, there was a day I lost flying here, but I didn't count that until two days. It's actually two weeks and five days, but minus the day that I lost on the plane. So like, I told you I'd be here for three weeks. And the fact I only lost one day, considering I'm flying through everywhere, that, that perf of a night flight definitely helped. I've uh, <laughs> made the most of my time. Last year in Australia, I spent half, I, I lost like a week's worth of days, like just flying and traveling. So this might be number two already. <laughs> I, I, th I think Hawthorne losing brings it down, but you know, adventure wise, might be number one though. <laughs> I did that in 12 minutes, it's fine. If you're wondering why I love California so much, it's just like, I've always wanted to see the Golden Gate Bridge and I saw that for the first time and I went to LA. I love movies, so touring four different studios, Paramount, Premium Tour, Sony, Warner Brothers, Universal, that was all fun. Um, that Warship was cool and then WrestleMania was just the icing on the cake and the, and the cherry on top. And there's wallabies down here. Um, let me pause this conversation for a second. They said keep a distance, don't touch them, keep them wild. I am more than happy to oblige. 
even if they're not big. But yeah, also like watching my first uh, Lakers game with the NBA. I love ice hockey, so watching my first uh, LA Kings, watching them for the first time was great. Um, even the MLS was really fun. So like, it's just, I experienced so much over there. <laughs> it's just unforgettable. So that's still number one for me. And just WrestleMania is the reason why it's number one. Like if you take that away, it's, uh, it's not number one, but th that event made it. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it wasn't just that, it was just all those tours I did, plus the hike to the Hollywood sign. It wasn't a hard hike, but it was amazing. Just going up to the top of the Hollywood sign, it just felt like I felt on top of the world on that day. So, And on top of that, it was like being in a video game. Big fan of gaming, on top of movies. It was like being in GTA. It was like being in GTA, I was just like, I am literally in GTA 5. This is really awesome, so yeah, that's still number one, but this... I'll let you know this ever takes that one. No, I'll wait till I get home until I'll tell you. <laughs> He's looking at me. I'll stop looking when you stop looking, mate. Come on, buddy. You were down on the floor rubbing something. Now you're looking at me. Okay, you win. So I said we can wander down a bit to see some wombats. Uh, he said stop at a T road. I'm just like, what's the T road? <laughs> Not enough time to do that track. I assume maybe there's wombats down there, I don't know. When I saw the wallabies, apparently there's one that's normally down there, but not today. Just the one we saw, I don't remember where we saw it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm wondering down here for nothing. <laughs> Could have been having lunch. <laughs> there's definitely a wombat around here. <laughs> if that's not evidence, I don't know what is. Cubic number two. Where are you, buddy? Yeah, I've definitely been blind, because there's the T road where I went to meet the driver at anyway. Because he said he, he said he'd drive down here. Apparently two people came down here, but I, I don't see him. Um, I've definitely gone past where the wombat was. <laughs> My bearings are not good enough today. What a day. There we go, that's a pretty big one. How close can I get to him? I tell you what, mate, I'm not sure I want to go through here. <laughs> it's not him I'm scared of. <laughs> it's rather what I don't see. <laughs> iPhone 12 should have better zoom than this. This is maximum zoom. Oh, he's run off. So the rest, so like four of them go up here. I'm just like, I'll go up. Then it just, it was there and it ran off. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. That's why there's a bit of flexibility. You know, you come on some of these other tours, everyone's got to do the same thing. <laughs> the most photographed waterfall up here, Pensil Flow and Cascades. Yeah, probably about a 40% flow now. So you can see that cup of tea coloration in the water, it's a natural colour. And then this next two kilometers. You're welcome. Kilometer up to Savannah Dam. Then they built the dam, worked in all weather conditions. Township was nearby.
last stop is basically dinner, but I still got my lunch in my bag, so it's just like, uh, <laughs> we got like just over half an hour here. I'm gonna try some of their Tasmanian ice cream. There's a food place like to the left, I think, but I'm going in there. <laughs> yeah. All genders toilet. Yes. I went for a large cookies and cream, $8.50. Um, I went for a cup instead of a cone this time because of how messy it was the last two times at uh, Manly Beach and at uh, Blue Mountains. They were great ice creams to be fair, but I wanted to have a bit less of a mess in my hands. <laughs> my lunch from earlier, come to Papa. It's very chewy. This is crunchy. You know, I'm not feeling that hungry. So I've still got my lunch, my two sandwiches and my wraps because that's my dinner now. I don't know what's going on, I just don't feel that hungry now. <laughs> I normally would at this point in time after a big tour, but the ice cream and the two desserts have done it for me. I'm good for a few hours. And I am back. I think we're back early actually, as far as I know, but you know, we did the tour. <laughs> Everyone just got through it, like no one did the hard one, so we, we came back a bit earlier. Um, but yeah, we had a decent amount of stops, you know. Um, there's no food near the mountain, so you've got to get your lunch early on. That's the only issue, but that's not down to the tour, that's just how the mountain is, that's just how it is. Um, and there was even a stop for dinner, but I ended up, you know, I bought food in the morning and I've still not eaten it. I mean, look, at least I don't have to get anything later on. This will be enough for the night, so I'm gonna go to sleep early as well. Got a 10 a.m. shuttle, so uh, not uh, not having to do a very early wake up. Checkout's at 11 anyway, so that fits in perfectly. Um, 10 a.m. shuttle to the airport, then I've got an afternoon flight uh, to Melbourne, and uh, I've got a few hours window to get the sky bus to Southern Cross, get the train from Southern Cross to, because my hotel is not going to be near um, Southern Cross. The reason is because uh, there's an F1 event on this weekend. Because of that, hotel prices skyrocketed. <laughs> and I found one that was just about cheap enough. And it was still like hundred pounds a night. <laughs> and that was the cheapest one available. It was insane. Um, but that's to, to be expected with F1. Like people travel from all around the world to watch races. So that, that makes sense. But um, because of that, I had to get a hotel a bit further out, uh, but not too far out. It's still in the city. It's still, I, I still got a good location. It's just that it's not near a train station. You've got to walk like 15 minutes to get there from the nearest train station. And the nearest train station is not Southern Cross. It's somewhere else. Um, but I'll figure it out. It's like it's an area I know because I explored around there last year. But either way, I got to get to that hotel, get my suitcase there, get it, get it all checked in and everything and then get to the MCG, hopefully in time to meet someone before the game, and then uh, watch the game come back. Then I got a four day tour on Friday, so I got I got barely enough sleep 
I'm not going to get enough sleep on Thursday night. <laughs> Either it goes horribly wrong and I oversleep and miss my tour, or it's another day where it's an extreme lack of sleep, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, I look forward to it. So yeah, tomorrow will be AFL related and also flight related because I'm going to fly from Tasmania to Melbourne and watch the AFL. That's going to be one big vlog. This is your boy Zavadov. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day and goodbye.